Greetings my friends and welcome to episode 3 of my Amazon Lord of the Rings TV series Numenor series where we continue our journey through Numenor and its many rulers. In today's episode we are looking at Tar Elendil who was the fourth king of Numenor. In the previous episode we ended with Tar Amandil surrendering the scepter of Numenor in the year 590 the second age and was succeeded by his own son Tar Elendil. Tar Amandil died in the year 603 of the second age at the age of 411. Now let's continue. Tar Elendil was the fourth king of Numenor. He was the eldest son of Tar Amandil. He was considered to be a master of law and a notable scholar. Tar Elendil received the nickname Book Handed in Quenya because of his love of making books from the legends and lore gathered by his grandfather, Vardamir Nolimon. He was born in the year 350 of the Second Age. Tar Elendil was a man of great knowledge and wisdom. From the time of the reign of Tar Elendil, Numenorians began to contact with Middle Earth more actively. As Vientur, the captain of the king's ships, became the first Numenorian to return to Middle Earth. In the year 600 of the Second Age, he arrived at the Grey Havens with his ship and met Gilgalad, High King of the Noldor. Vientur's daughter, Almarian, wed a Tarmanoldor, who was the fifth king of Numenor, and their child, Aldarion inherited his grandfather's love of the sea. Tar Elendil had three children, two daughters Silmarien and Silme, and one son who would later become Tar Meneldur. Silmarien was the eldest child but because of the law of Agnetic Pyramengentur that existed in Numenor at the time and that means that in Numenor the oldest son would take the throne even if the daughter was the eldest, so if there were two daughters and a son and the son was the youngest, the son would still take the throne and that happened during this time in Numenor. Tar Meneldo inherited the scepter and ruled instead of the oldest daughter Selmarien. Tar Elendil also passed the ring of Barahir down to Selmarien instead of his son. This choice over many generations allowed Aragorn to bear the heirloom during his coronation at the end of the War of the Ring. Tar Elendil ruled for 150 years between the year 540 the Second Age to the year 740 the Second Age. He surrendered the scepter just like his father did before him in the year 740 the Second Age and then died in the year 751 of the Second Age at the age of 401. Tar Meneldor took up the mantle and became the fifth ruler of Numenor. Tar Elendil's reign, like his ancestors, was a peaceful one, but unlike his ancestors before him, he made strides forward and made contact with Middle Earth for the first time, one of many contacts that we will see throughout the series. But that was the main, most important thing that happened during his reign. However, this peace would not last for long as things start to heat up as evil starts to stir very far in the east of Middle Earth. But we will look into that in the next episode. Well that's it for today's video, thank you guys for watching, I really appreciate it, please like and subscribe, but until the next video my friends, goodbye.